The purpose of this activity is to see the relationship between the speed setting on a boat and the amount the boat will drift downstream because of the current in the stream. So when you open up your window, you will get a moving stream. Try not to hit the logs. You're going to fire your boat perpendicular across the stream. The current will carry the boat downstream. And you want to see how the speed setting on the boat will affect the amount it drifts down the river. This speed would be the speed in still water. So to start your boat, just click on it. The boat will drift downstream. And after a little bit, it will land on the opposite shore. Record the speed of the boat. Again, that, that is the speed when it was in, if it was in still water. And this is the distance it drifted down the stream. And you could see it's a little more than 43 meters, so maybe 43.2 meters. Click on the reset to bring the boat back. Change the speed of your boat. Try and do between five and 10 different trials. The more trials, the better. When you're done, you're gonna click on the finish button. Type in your name. The graph constant, and you can see from up here you're graphing drift distance on the Y, boat speed on the X. And then after you get your graph and your graph constant, you're then going to calculate the drift for a speed that you did not test. So it will tell you a speed, plug it into the equation you get from your graph, and figure out how much it would have drifted downstream. Okay, hopefully you have no problem with this. So when you're done, hit submit and share your um, certificate with your teacher. And if you do not get it right, you could try it again or ask your teacher to look over your work to see where you went awry.